I've had a few people ask me about belt tension and helping with layer shifts. Uh, I can't say I'm an expert at this, to be honest with you, and I've been struggling with it myself. So let me show you. This is, right now I've been having successful prints, so this is the best I can do as far as maybe how your belt should be. This thing moves pretty easily. It's not super easy to move, but there's no um, tugging or anything like that. So if this is hard to move, your belt is likely too tight. Um, same with this up here. If this is really hard to move, chances are your belt is too tight. Um, if it can go zoop right across, then it's too loose. That's not a great analogy on how to do it. Um, oftentimes I'll check to see if belts are loose by feeling the belt itself, which is kind of tough, a tough way to do it as well. And when that's the case, you just adjust this knob. So I kind of, I personally go by the, how well this moves. If it's tight, it, then it'll be like really hard to move. Um, and you'll feel like tugging. It'll feel like it's doing this, like it's tugging. Same with this. If I tighten it too tight, it starts to go. I can feel, almost feel the wheels bolt, you know, tugging. So I kind of look for how well this moves. Um, a buddy of mine has said to listen for the thump, which is tough for me because I mean, maybe on another printer it'd be okay, but you want to hear that thump, you know, that's probably pretty good. You know, if I go too tight, I've had layer shifts. If I'm too loose, I get layer shifts. So you kind of have to find the in-between for yourself. If it's layer shifting and this is too hard to move, it's probably too tight. If this is layer shifting and it's super easy to move, it's probably too loose. You can go off of this if you'd like. You know, what kind of thumping sound? Almost sounds like a, like a, like a bass guitar. You can go off that if you'd like. I... I still haven't gotten perfected this, so just just understand I'm not an expert in this aspect, and this is the first time I've had a belt designed like this. Uh, most of my printers have had belts designed like these, so and even then, there's, these are still kind of tough to figure out too. So, same sort of philosophy though. But hope this helps. It's not the most knowledgeable information, but if you're having layer shift issues, the first thing I check is belt tension. Um, cause I had the issue last night. I thought it was too loose. I tightened it. I apparently made it too tight because the more I tightened it, the worse the layer shift got. So that's another thing. If you make it too tight, you get a layer shift. And if you start tightening even more, you get even more layer shifts. You got to go back the other direction. So, which is this knob. And you can see, I have the little thing that goes over the top to kind of keep it from moving back and forth. So I hope that helps. I'm not sure if it's really going to help, but I hope it does. I'm going to start a print. So, I hope that helps, guys. I know several people have been asking, so there you go. That's, that's what's worked for me. And these have been, this is what just came off the printer. Literally just came off the printer, so no layer shifts. There's some texture. That's all the battle damage built into the design. So it's not actually a problem with the print. But some of that texture I think is actually from my settings to be honest with you. Again, this is texture from the battle damage, but you can kind of see it's printing pretty good. And I'm gonna publish a video on my settings in Persia, Orca, that sort of thing. Thanks for watching guys.